Hi, Liz Michael here, happily here, representing Fruit Trilogy, Eve Ensler's fabulous new play down at the Lucille Lortel through June 23rd. You're going to be seeing the third movement of the piece named Coconut. And I hope you'll come and see it in person. See you later. Some people go to church. Some people go to a mosque or a temple. I come here. Yes, I realize it's a bathroom, but don't underestimate the mystical implications of the bathroom. <laughs> it might not be big enough for a priest or a rabbi or an imam, but that might be a good thing. This is a different kind of practice. I have towels. They are soft. I spread them out. I have candles. Mm, there are no wafers here. No fasting, no typical sacraments, but I have oil. Mm. We'll get to that in a minute. By the way, I have never invited anyone here before. It's close, as you can see, intimate, but it feels like the right time, and, well, you feel like the right people. I've already taken the bath. I didn't think you needed to be here for that. <laughs> but imagine that I am clean, scrubbed, ready, this is a lengthy process. Sometimes I don't leave here for hours, but don't worry, I won't hold you hostage. I know about attention span. Hmm. Today, I am beginning with my feet. They have been calling me. Oh, by the way, I never know what's gonna happen, so it'll be as surprising to me as it is to you. That's what's most exciting about this practice. It's always different. We don't recite the same scriptures over and over or sing the same hymns by rote. It's not like that at all. Oh, today, I'm beginning with my feet. Well, my right foot. And I begin slow. Do you know slow? Hmm. Do you have time to pay attention, feel your feet? Well, go ahead. Don't be shy. It might be easier if you take off your shoes. <laughs> oh, I know it's a bit uncomfortable in front of strangers, but if we all do it together, it won't be so bad. Yeah, so intimate taking off your shoes, so vulnerable making, so real. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, if you want to leave them on, at least you can close your eyes and try to feel your feet on the floor. Hmm. Now, <laughs> Before we begin, you should know that uh, this practice has evolved, or should I say, it has evolved me. In the beginning, I was just rubbing oil on my skin. I was just trying to make myself soft. Oh, I, in all honesty, in the beginning, I wasn't even doing it for me. It, like everything else, this body just existed in relationship to the person who was touching it as a thing that might be touched. I rubbed oil on my skin and imagined the hands of a lover. I imagined him or her rubbing their hands all over my flesh, gasping at the softness. Oh my God, you are so soft. Can anyone be so soft? <laughs> as if softness were the ultimate state of sensual achievement, as if softness were my calling card. Hi, how are you? What do you do? Well, I am soft. <laughs> Perhaps I was overcompensating. My hair is unpredictable and, well, do I say it, I could be thinner, but I could be soft. Oh, my soft, delicious skin that you melt into like butter. All the deficits would be forgiven then. All the ways I don't measure up, and it worked. Mm. A lover would get turned on just by touching my skin, just by rubbing up against my naked silkiness. One time, I was at a party, and this very sexy woman with a long braid was talking to me. And she had just returned from Brazil or the Yucatan. She accidentally brushed up against my exposed arm. I was wearing a halter top. She just stopped. She didn't speak. She just touched my arm and touched it again as if to make sure it was really that soft. Then she rubbed her own naked arm up against mine and like a cat, put her cheek, her face on it. The next thing I knew, we were at her apartment on her bed, naked and wild. 